What's up, muscle and strength? Justin Walter and David Morin for Diamantize. We're at day four of our program. Today, we're gonna to focus on shoulders. The first movement is a shoulder activation exercise. It's really gonna engage your shoulders. It's a standard landmine. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna stretch those posterior delts as we twist and open up the core, and we're gonna hit those front delts as we twist and open up the core. You wanna do four to five rounds with this warm-up exercise to activate your delts. Number one thing, when you work back, when you work chest, when you work arms, you're always engaging shoulders. So take time, connect to your shoulders. Remember, it's not about weight, it's about mind-muscle connection. So focus on that and get ready for a killer shoulder day. First movement today is going to be the barbell strict military press. You see a lot of people do this movement wrong with lots of arch to the back. The key here is to bring the feet close together with a narrow stance. Stand up tall, chin down in a neutral position so you're not arching your back hard and putting any flexion in the neck. So chin down, neutral stance position. I like to use a false grip with my thumb behind the bar. That way I'm activating the lats coming out of the hole there on the press and getting full extension up top. Same rep scheme as last time on the other heavy movements that we're gonna do here. We're gonna work our way up in some warm up sets and then we're gonna do two working sets at six repetitions, two working sets at eight repetitions, and two working sets at 10 to 12 repetitions. My variation to Justin's standard overhead military press is an Arnold press with dumbbells. Basically, I focus on this because I get full deltoid stimulation from front to back. The main thing you guys want to focus on, a lot of people get really sloppy, they jerk their shoulders up and down, just sipinating and pronating the wrist. That's not the way that I want you guys to do it. You want to engage those front delts slowly, bringing that weight down and controlling it, and then maximizing when you open those shoulders back up, hit those posterior delts hard then drive that weight up. Never lock your elbows at the top. Keep the tension on the muscle. You really wanna isolate those shoulders, feel the burn. So you're looking for sets of five to even six sets. You wanna focus on rep ranges between 10 and 15 repetitions, nice and slow. You'll feel the rewards of getting bolder sized shoulders. All right guys, we just built these cannonball delts with our heaviest movement of the day. Now we're gonna lighten the load and really shape and sculpt the muscles. We're gonna lay on the incline bench here. Make sure you feel your scapula squeeze back together, extend your elbows into full extension, and get the barbell all the way overhead, guys, so your arms are about perpendicular to the floor. What it's gonna allow you to do is hit the front and the lateral head of the deltoid, creating that rounding effect that we're looking for. On this movement, we're gonna hit three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. My offering to you guys versus the standard lateral raise or the standard front raise is a combination of both. It's highly efficient at hitting the shoulders. You're gonna do a lateral raise, front raise combo. You're gonna interchange the dumbbells. One shoots straight, one shoots lateral, then you interchange them. What's critical is you're not engaging the traps. You're gonna get a slight bend in the elbows, so you're just gonna focus on those medial delts and those front delts. You're gonna get a great burn. You wanna focus on five sets of 10 to 12 repetitions alternating. It's gonna confuse you a little bit, but that's what you need to grow. A lot of people just do the standard opening lateral raises or the front raises. You combine them both, you're gonna find a new wave of stimulation that's gonna mean mass and gains for you. All right guys, now we're gonna go hard and heavy on the back. I'll grab a out, slightly outside of shoulder width position here. I like to do a lot of warm up sets guys till I work up to these heavier sets here. Make sure you're feeling everything contract. I like to flex my glutes, my hips, my core. Everything is super tight and engaged. I feel a little stretch in there in the back and then explode up, getting the bar all the way to your navel, kind of slightly arcing the bar, getting that full range of motion guys. Three sets, 
10 to 12 repetitions, as heavy as you can possibly go. Moving on from the shoulders, you know, we've worked on a lot of rotational movements as far as my program goes. Uh, you just saw Justin do that bent over row, which is a great way to build width and build a lot of thickness in the back. I'm going to show you something a little bit different that's actually going to engage the shoulders and it's going to engage the spinal erectors in the center of the back and width of the back and stretching those lats out. So basically you're going to lay face down on an inclined bench. As you stretch out and you row in, you're going to keep it tight to the center of your back. As you release, you're not going to fully extend. You're not going to let the weight down. You're going to hold it and keep it tense while you cipronate and pronate the wrists. You're going to bring it out wide to stimulate the upper part of your back, the traps, posterior deltoids, rhomboids. You're going to feel that back down again, super strict. There's going to be no cheating involved in this because you're smack flat against that bench. What you're aiming for is seven to eight repetitions because each pronation and sipination counts as one rep. So total reps are going to be 14, 15. So you're going to see upper lats, seven reps, lower lats, seven reps. So that's your goal. You can manipulate it however you want to. You can stick with Justin's standard format or you can switch it up and get that rotation. It's great for your shoulders too. All right guys, your lats are full of blood. We're gonna go on over to a great finishing exercise and that's a lat pull down, pull over combination. You're gonna sit reverse in the lat pull down machine with a nice wide grip handle, but you're gonna grab narrow, you're gonna do a lat pull down, you're gonna bring it right down to your sternum, and as you exhale, you're gonna release, and then you're gonna straighten those arms out and do a nice pull over. You bring that pull over straight with your arms locked out, engaging the lats all the way down into your lat insertions. You're gonna squeeze nice and slow as you inhale and you release that and then go right back in to that lat pull down. You're gonna activate the lats from top to bottom. It's a great finisher. You're gonna focus on rep ranges between 10 and 15 repetitions. You can do five sets. All right guys, the shoulders and back are completely lit up. Now we're gonna swell these arms up here guys with a bicep, tricep, superset. When it comes to the radialis, guys, we wanna make sure that it's really popping and makes, it's cause it's underneath the bicep, it's gonna make it pop out, and make the arm look awesome from the side, guys. So what you wanna do here now is lock in with a tight grip, curl up to a max contraction, press overhead, get a full stretch on the triceps, guys, full extension, control the negatives down, and then control the negative on the reverse grip curl, guys. So that way you're blasting the forearms, biceps, and triceps in one smooth move. This is one movement where I'm not gonna have you worry about the repetitions. I want you to take this absolutely to failure. So burn out the arms, burn out the biceps, burn out the triceps, and make these arms look as big and huge as possible. The arm exercise I've selected to hit your bys and tries is basically a preacher curl assisted bicep and tricep combination. You're going to lean against that preacher curl. You're going to do a hammer curl, bringing those weights up. You're going to work that uh, bicep all the way up until you have to transition into the tricep skull crusher, modified French press is what they call it. But you're going to use two dumbbells that you can effectively do 10 to 15 repetitions with, focus on form, concentrate on that muscle, feel that transition from bicep to tricep. You're going to blow those arms up real quick. It's going to be a sick pump. You're going to love it. All right, guys, that concludes day four. You hit your back, you hit your delts, and you hit your arms. It's another upper body day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you're growing. Go home, get some rest and recovery, because you're going to need it, because tomorrow we hit legs. I'll see you then.